world production of Fiddler on the Roof. And we are so excited to share it with you today. Uh, this is our second dress rehearsal, so there may be some bits and pieces that we are continuing to tweak. And uh, thank you very much for being witness to that process. I'll ask you to make sure your phones are off, the exits are to the right here, and to my left, if you want, um, make a choice as to which one you might use should we need it. And you each have received a candle as you came in, and you'll know when to go. Thank you. Enjoy.
others in our village who make for a much wider circle. Is honor the constable, is honor the priest, and many others. We don't bother them. So far, they haven't bothered us. And as for the rest of us, we would get along perfectly well. Although there was a time when he sold him a horse, but delivered a mule. That's all over now. And we all get along peace and harmony. And it was a horse! It was a mule. <laughs> Mama, where should we put these? By the stove. Where's Hava? It's almost Sabbath. She's in the barn milking. Spritzka, bring me more potatoes. Hava, did you finish milking? Yes, Mama. Okay. Were you reading again? Why does a girl have to read? Will it get her a better husband? Here. From your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> Mama, can we go play? Go. Mama, the miniature finds the last one was so old, and he had no hair. If you want hair, marry a monkey. <laughs> Babies. They talk, they play, they're children. 
Did you have to make my horse turn his leg just before the Sabbath? I know you pick on me. You blessed me with five daughters and a life of poverty. But what have you got against my horse? I know it's no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. You made many, many poor people. So would it hurt if you gave me a small fortune? If I were a rich man, dido 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 dido. All day long I did it, did it, but if I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. A dido 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 dum. If I were a bitty bitty rich, dido 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 man, I'd build a great big house with rooms by the dozen. Right in the middle of the town, with a fine tin roof and shiny wooden floors below. And I have one long staircase only going up, and another even longer coming down, and one more going no place just for show. If I were rich. All day long I did it, did it, but if I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Dido, 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 dum. If I were a bitty, bitty rich, dido, 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 man. If I were rich, I'd have the time and the lack to sit in a synagogue and pray, and maybe have a seat when it's too warm. And I discuss the holy books with the learned men seven hours every day. Ah, that would be the sweetest gift of all. If I were a rich man, dido 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 dum. All day long I did it, did it, but if I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Dido 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 dum. I would make a lion and a lamb. You decreed I should be what I am, but. Would it hurt some vast eternal plan if I were a wealthy? Slow of tongue. That was also Moses. <laughs> For a slow tongue, he talked a lot. <laughs> so, where are you from? Kiev. I was a student in the university there. And what's the news of the outside world? Terror. How terror? In a village called Rujanka, all the Jews were evicted and forced to leave their homes. For what reason? Maybe the Tsar wanted their land, maybe a plague. Here, have a piece. Thank you, but I don't have any money. It's a blessing for me to give. It's no crime to be poor. It is the rich that are the criminals, and one day their wealth will be ours. That would be nice. <laughs> if they'd agree, I'd agree. But until that golden day, how will you live? We'll give lessons. Do you have children? Five daughters. Five daughters. <laughs> I will teach them. 
daughters are, uh, I would teach them they are people too. <laughs> a radical. <laughs> um, I, I, will, I will teach them great thoughts and expand their minds. I go, poor man. Food for lessons? Come, spend the Sabbath with us. Thank you, Rick Elliot. Good Sabbath, children. Good Sabbath, Papa. Children. This is Perchick. Perchick, my eldest daughter. Oh, you have a very pleasant daughter. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath to you. I have five pleasant daughters. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. This is not mine. <laughs> this is Muggle Consoil and he you find me here, my breadwinner. <laughs> this is Perchick from Kiev. He's going to spend the Sabbath with us. He's a teacher, a very fine teacher. Like I heard once the rabbi who must praise himself has a congregation of one. <laughs> you, have, you have a clever and witty daughter. <laughs> yes, for which he gets from me, as the good book says, uh, the good book can wait. Get washed. It's almost sad. <laughs> the tongue she gets from her mother. Mother, are you also eating with us? Saito, two more. And mm -hmm. Spritz of Yelka, get washed. Your mother can help me. Mahava, you go too. And you can eat at Penn, wash outside by the well. Here, Laser Wolf wants to talk to you. About what? I don't know. He says it's important. Talk to him. About what? If he wants to buy my new milk cow, he can forget it. Just talk to him. All right, after the Sabbath, I'll talk to him. Marvel, Marvel, yes, there was here. I know, I saw her. If they agree on someone, then it will be too late for us. Ask my father for my hand tonight. Why should he consider me now? I'm only a poor tailor. Well, even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. All right. <laughs> Come in, children. We're lighting the candles. Rev. Tevya. It's late. Where is everybody? Rev. Tevya. <laughs> what is it, Muggle? What?
Good morning. Oh, hello, Lisa Wolf. Hi. Uh, a bottle and uh, of your best and two glasses. What's the occasion? A party? Maybe a party. Maybe even a wedding. <laughs> Good evening. Would you like a drink? Right away. Good evening. Good evening, Trevia. He wants to buy my new milk cow. <laughs> ah, Trevia. Good evening, Red Blazer. Good evening. Here, have a drink. Thank you. <clears throat> so, Tevia, I suppose you know why I asked to speak with you. Yes, I know, Rip Laser, but there's no use talking about it. Why not? Why should I give her up? <laughs> you have more without her. I see. Today you want one, tomorrow you want two. <laughs> two? What would I do with two? The same as you do with one. <laughs> <laughs> Tevye, this is very important to me. Why is it so important? Frankly, I'm lonesome. <laughs> lonesome? What are you talking about? We're talking about your daughter, Cycle. <laughs> My daughter, Cycle. <laughs> Heavier. She, she's been coming to my butcher shop every Thursday afternoon. She's made a very good impression on me. I like her, Tevia. And I would be good to her. What do you think? What do I think? You can have a fine conversation with him if it's about kidneys and livers. <laughs> On the other hand, not everyone can be a scholar. Maybe I misjudged him. He's a good man. He likes her. He'll try to make her happy. What do I see? It's a match. You agree? I agree. That's wonderful, Tavia. <laughs> to the both of us. <laughs> To our agreement. To our health and happiness. And most important, to life. To life. Lechayim. Lechayim, lechayim, to life. To the father I try to be. To still my pride to be. The fire to life.
daughter getting married. Oh, my congratulations. Thank you, Your Honor. Tell you, I have something to tell you that I think you should know about as a friend. <laughs> we've received a report that sometime soon in this district there's going to be a little misfortune of a little unofficial demonstration. A pogrom? Here? No, no. Just a bit of mischief. So if the inspector comes through, he'll know we're doing our duty. My congratulations again. Thank you, Your Honor. Good night. Dear Lord, did you have to send me news like this? Today of all days, I know that we're your chosen people. Once in a while, couldn't you choose somebody else? <laughs> anyway, thank you for sending a husband for my excitement. We're hired. children, I will tell you the story from the Bible of how Laban cheated Jacob, who worked for him. It will show that the Bible clearly teaches you can never trust an employer. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Papa isn't up yet? No, Mama. Enough lessons. We have to do Papa's work today. He, last night he came home, he staggered home, and fell into bed like a dead person. I couldn't get a word out of him. So put everything away, go clean the barn, and Huddle, call me when Papa gets up. That was a very interesting lesson, Perchet. Thank you. But I don't think the rabbi would agree with your strange ideas. <laughs> Certainly. Any new idea would be strange to you, but remember, the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he was not talking to you personally. <laughs> uh, you have spirit, even a little intelligence. Thank you. <laughs> and you are very brave. Do you know that in the city, boys and girls can all dance together? They can even dance together like this. I won't force you. Oh, thank you, Papa. 
Bethavia, Bethavia. Not now, Muzzle, I have problems. That's what I came to talk to you about. I think I can help. You? I have a match for your title. This match was made exactly to measure. A perfect fit. Stop talking like a tailor. Tell me who it is. <laughs> it's me, Bethavia, myself. You must be crazy. You must be crazy. <laughs> Maybe you'll even perform the ceremony. <laughs> Silo and I gave each other our pledge more than a year ago that we would marry. You gave each other a pledge? Yes, Papa. We gave each other our pledge. They gave each other a pledge? Unheard of. Absurd. You gave each other a pledge? Unthinkable. Where do you think you are? <coughs> Moscow? Paris? Where do they think they are? In America? <laughs> Doesn't anybody have to ask a father anymore? I've been meaning to ask you for some time now, Rev. But you're a poor tailor. Even a tailor is entitled to some happiness. <laughs> And I promise you, Eptavia, your daughter will not starve. He's starting to talk like a man. <laughs> on the other hand, what kind of a match would it be with a poor tailor? But on the other hand, things could never get any worse. <laughs> they could only get better. Well, children, when shall we make the wedding? Oh, thank you, Papa. You won't be sorry, Vatavia. You won't be sorry. I won't be sorry. I'm sorry already. <laughs> Golda. What am I going to tell Golda? Help! <laughs> It was a miracle. Wonder of wonder, miracle of miracles. God took a tailor by the hand, turned him around, and miracle of miracles led him to the promised land. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all is that out of a worthless God has made a man today. One day this new girl added, yes, that was a miracle. When God gave us man in the wilderness, that was a miracle too. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all is the one Oh, it's 
marrying Muddle? I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. <laughs> Laser and Patrick are in agreement. Yeah, but I heard the agreement wasn't settled. An agreement is an agreement. Mm -hmm. I heard Golda's grandmother came to tell you from the grave and told him Zidal's very mother. What grandmother? <laughs> My grandfather came to me from the grave and told me her grandmother is a liar. <laughs> Yeah, so, do you have a hat for me? He's a walk older one, but he's not cheap. I got his bride, I can get his hat. <laughs> then come, Mo. Okay. Chava, can you hold the shop for me? Sure. For just a few minutes. Yes. Thank you, Chava. Yeah, can I help you? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, you forgot your book. No. It's mine. Well, thank you, Osaka. <laughs>
I'm sorry, but the orders were for tonight, for the whole village. All right, men.
is God. That was some dowry he set by Seidel for her wedding. Was it really necessary? Well, they're married almost two months now. They work very hard. They're as poor as squirrels in the winter. They're so happy together. They don't realize how miserable they are. <laughs> and they have big plans. Muzzle keeps talking about a sewing machine. If you're not too busy, could you take a second and get it for them? And while they're in the neighborhood, my horse's left leg. Am I bothering you? I'm sorry. But as the good book says, why should I tell you what the good book says? <laughs> tomorrow morning. So you told me. Then goodbye. Otto, your father, the others in the village, they think that what happened at Seidel's wedding was just to be a cloudburst and everything would go back to normal and be peaceful again. They won't. Do you understand? Yes, I, I suppose I do. Then goodbye, poor chick. Uh, uh, there's uh, uh, one thing that I wish to discuss with you, a political question. Yes. Uh, it's about marriage. That's a political question? I'm in favor. Are you asking me to marry you? Theoretically. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was hoping you were. Um, so we can say that we are engaged? Um, I will send to you as soon as I am able. It will be a hard life, Mother. But it will be less hard if we put it together. Good evening. <laughs>
loves it. What can I do? It's a new world. Love it. Golden. Do you love me? Do I love you? Do you love me? Do I love you? Well, for 25 years, I've cleaned your house, cooked your food, made the beds, given you children, milked the cow. After 25 years, why talk about love right now? The first time I met you was on our wedding day. I was frightened. I was shy. I was nervous. So was I. But my father and my mother said we learned to love each other. So now I'm asking, Golda, do you love me? Your wife. Do you love me? I suppose I do. And I suppose I love you too. It doesn't change a thing, but even so, after 25 years, it's nice to know. something wrong, otherwise he wouldn't be in trouble. What wrongs did Joseph do, and Abraham, and Moses, and they had troubles? Where is this Joseph of yours? Oh, Siberia, the settlement in Siberia.
talk to him, I promise. talk to him and never talk about this again. Never see him again. Never. Do you understand me? Can this old horse of mine go on complaining about his leg? Uh, if he can walk on, if I can walk on two legs, why can't he walk on three? <laughs> I know he's one of your creatures, and he has the same, same rights as I have to be sick, to be hungry, to work like a horse. How long am I going to go on pulling this cart? I know, I know. I should push it for a while. Tevia! Tevia! What? It's Hava. She left this morning with Fietka. I looked all over for her. I can't find her. I even went to the priest. And he told me they were married. Go home. But Hava! Hava. Hava is dead to us. We will forget about her. Go home. Papa, Papa, I want to talk to you. Papa, listen to me. I beg you to accept us. How can I accept it? How can I deny everything that I believe in? How can I deny my own child? On the other hand, no, there is no other hand. No, Hala, no, no, no.
Rabtevia home. He's in the house. Why are you all gathered around like a bunch of goats? Rabtevia, have you talked to the constable today? No. Why? There are rumors in town. What rumors? Well, someone from Zoladine told me that, well... I've come here to tell you, Tevia, that you all have to leave Anatevka. I have a daughter. You must sell your homes and be out of here in three days. Three days. Oh. You who've known us all your life would carry out this order? I have nothing to do with it. Don't you understand? Yes, I understand. And what if we refuse to go? You have three days. We should defend ourselves. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. And that in the end, the world will be eyeless and toothless. <laughs> Rabbi, you've been waiting for the sight to come. Wouldn't this be a good time for him? <coughs> We'll have to go and wait for him someplace else. In the meantime, let's get packing. Oh, well. I'm a test, I can't exactly make up and not leave it. That's true. After all, what have we got here?
children, come help me pack the rest of the clothes. I'm going to have to hurry. We'll, we'll be together. Huddle, Simon, the baby. Come up too, you'll see. But what about Huddle and Perchin? When will we ever see them again? Do they come from Siberia every weekend for the Sabbath? <laughs> They're together. They're happy. And the other children will be with us. Not all. All. We have to get finished. I still, I have to sweep the floor. Sweep the floor? I don't want to leave a dirty house. <laughs> uh, Tidal, are they finished inside? Almost. Papa. Papa. Papa will see you. I want to say goodbye to him. He, he will not listen, but at least he'll hear. Papa. Papa, we, we came to say goodbye to you. Would not stay in a place where people do such things to others. We wanted you to know that. Papa? Papa? Mama? Papa? Sprinter, put the rest of the bundles on the wagon. Simon, don't forget the baby. Let's go.